Hallo ihr Rabauken and welcome to this Capture One Pro quick tutorial. In this video we will check out the difference between the shadow slider and the black slider. So the black slider and the shadow slider can be found within the high dynamics range tool which can be found in the exposure tab. So the biggest difference or the main difference between the shadow slider and the black slider is basically that the black slider is attacking the very dark colors of an image and the shadow slider is affecting the dark colors of an image. So I can show you this pretty nicely. So if you take a look at the dark tones over here in the curve slider and um, also watch this diagonal line. So if I increase the black slider to its maximum, it's not possible to push this area below this diagonal line. If I'm doing the same with the shadow slider, you can see I can push it completely below this diagonal line. And also take a look at this area. So there's a lot of stuff going on when I'm moving the shadow slider up and down. And there's nearly nothing happening over here if I decrease or increase the value of the black slider. So now we will take a look at this image. So if I zoom in a little bit and you watch these values, you can see that they are all between 30 and 40, more or less. And then if you take a look at the hair over here, they are between 40 and 50, more or less. So if I now increase the black slider, it's attacking the blazer pretty nicely, so it makes it brighter. But in the hair, nothing is happening, nearly nothing is happening, just a little bit. If I'm doing the same with the shadow slider, the hair is getting very bright, right? Also when I'm darkening the image, so we've got some parts over here that are also in the 30 to 40 level, so if I decrease the black slider. I still got some structure left over here. If I'm doing the same with the shadow slider, I've got less structure left over here. Also, if you watch this area, if I'm increasing the shadow slider, it's still pretty dark. If I'm increasing the black slider, it's a little bit brighter. To visualize this a little bit more technically, I've created this nice image in Photoshop. So um, take a look at these gray values over here. So these are the very dark tones. So if I decrease the black slider, they are gone completely. Just the one over here can be seen. If I'm doing the same with the shadow slider, you can see that they are all still visible. And this also shows another thing. At first, I really thought that the black slider is um, kind of uh, affecting the grayscale values um, more than the shadow slider, which means that it would attack uh, really colors that are within the grayscale only where RGB are level. But as you can see, this is not true. We've got these color dots over here, so both are affected kind of the same way. Same with the shadow slider. Another interesting thing I found is that the changes are not um, absolute. So if you take a look at these values over here, I'm moving the cursor over this gray dot. It's 53 everywhere. If I now increase the black slider to its maximum, you suddenly see that there's a gradient being applied. Same with the shadow slider. So there's some gradient in some dots, not in every one. But like over here, you can see it directly, there's some gradient applied, which means there's much more technology um, in this slider than just increasing and decreasing brightness. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot. If you liked it, I'm happy to receive a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and always remember to listen to more heavy metal.